Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, we have been brought to this country by an old friend of mine who is a high-ranking army official and a member of the general staff. Two days ago, a certain valuable map was stolen from general staff headquarters. It must be recovered immediately. We have reason to believe it has not yet been carried out of the country. This record of the case has been prepared for you. It contains all known facts. Miss Yvonne Durell will act as your assistant. Keep me informed. Word went out that the case was now to be handled under the direction of K-7, famous spy hunter. Within an hour, reports began to come in from intelligence officers in many different cities. This is K-7 speaking. L-6 reporting. We have definitely established that the missing map was stolen by Andre Lajos, famous international spy. Lajos flew to Paris this morning. He's being followed. This is K-7 speaking. This is H-41 reporting. Andre Lejos speeding south across France by motor car. Passed through city of Lyon early this afternoon. Has been unreported for two hours. We will act at once. Thank you. Contact Special Agent B-9. Tell him to fly at once to Geneva, Switzerland. This is K-7 speaking. Captain Sivas, Border Patrol speaking. We believe Andre Lejos crossed border an hour ago. A plane was waiting for him at Verdun. Was headed for a small Alpine field just across border. This is Special Agent B-9 reporting. I have definite information that Andre Lejos was landed at small Alpine town just across French border. Mr. L and I are at airfield at Bern, Switzerland, our plane being refueled. We are less than an hour behind Lejos and should catch up with him before nightfall.
short time later, Agent B-9 and his assistant, Yvonne Durell, landed at a small village high in the Alps. From that point, they easily traced the spy who, believing himself safe, was dining at a small inn. As he finished his dinner, Agent B-9 and Yvonne entered the hotel. There doesn't seem to be anyone around, B-9. The innkeeper is probably supervising the serving of his guests. A place this size is usually run by a man and his wife with no other help. Ah, uh, that, that seems to be the dining room back there. Stand behind me. I want to look in. Is Lager there? Yes. He's just finishing his dinner. We'll wait outside. Well, what's the matter? Step back into the cloakroom, Yvonne. A powerful car has just stopped outside. There's an officer coming in. Yes, and unless I'm mistaken, he's coming to meet Lajos. Yes, he's going into the dining room. Now he's walking over to the table where Lajos is seated. Keep back, Yvonne. I want to hear what he says. Senor Lajos, I am glad to see you. Oh, Captain Durano, I hoped you would arrive before dark. Yes, we start at once. We are most anxious to see the map which you carry. You uh, had no trouble leaving France? I was followed, but they did not know of the plane waiting at Valon. Well, Captain, uh, you will have time to join me in a cup of coffee. Ah, it smells good. Ah, yes. Yes, I am dusty from my long drive. Uh, do you think there is a washroom? Oh, yes, yes. You will find it through the rear. Yvonne, we're going to take a desperate chance. I want you to go outside and stand near the captain's car. It's driven by a soldier. Have your gun ready for use, but keep it out of sight. b what are you going to do? The officer has gone into the washroom. While Lajos is alone, I'm going to take the map. There's a briefcase on a chair beside him. Remember, wait outside. Lajos, don't try to move. Who are you? That doesn't matter. I'll take this briefcase. Sit still and don't call out as I back out of this room. Into the car, Ivan. Hurry. Driver, start this car. I've got a gun on your back. Hurry. Si, senor. Agent B-9 and Yvonne were in a desperate position. Their car raced down the mountains toward soldiers warned by telephone of their coming. To be captured meant certain death before a firing squad. B-9 knew that before they could reach it, the border would be impassable. Then he sighted a small airport near the outskirts of a city. Driver, stop the car near that airport. Please, si, senor. We'll have to take that chance, Ivan. Open the door. Driver, I want you to turn this car around and go back up the mountain. If you attempt to go on into the village, I'll shoot you. I've got your revolver. You understand what I'm saying? Si. All right, start. See if we can find anyone around here. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone around here? There's a man, B-9. Yes, and there's a plane. We'll pose as tourists. You're my wife. We'll see if we can hire him to take us up on a sightseeing flight. Keep your gun out of sight. If he refuses to take us up, well, we'll take care of that when we come to it. Be ready to act. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just before darkness fell, a plane circled the small field and came in for a landing. As its wheels touched the ground, two men ran to meet it. One was the officer, Captain Durano. The other was the spy, Andre Lager. Where are your passengers? Where are the two you took up an hour ago? Uh, they're gone. I circled over the mountains. I looked back to see if they enjoyed themselves, and they're gone. Did they wear parachutes? No. But wait. Yes, the parachutes are gone, too. They're under the seat. Did you fly over the border? Yes, Captain. They asked me to. I did not want You're to... under arrest, senor. Arrest? No, I've done nothing. You have cost your country a great prize, which is already won. I arrest you for aiding the enemy. reporting to K-7. Miss Terrell and I are again safe on French soil. We have recovered the map which was stolen. Unfortunately, it was impossible to arrest the spy, Andre Lajos. The map will be brought to your headquarters immediately. Assignment completed. It is not unusual for secret agents to risk their lives in the performance of their duty, nor is it unusual for them to report the greatest feats of daring in simple words that tell only that they have been successful. The important thing to Agent B-9 was that the map was recovered. He had carried out his orders. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. (laughs) ¶¶